Welcome, 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 my friends. Welcome to Big Red Leads. I am Big Red, getting you and your business back to the black. Like, share, definitely subscribe to the channel. Um, today, we want to talk to everybody and touch base on understanding the distractions that keep us from the appreciation um, from those who truly deserve it. And we're gonna we're gonna di jump into this. This message is not going to be very long today, but please understand this. There are weird, real world distractions going on and they are put in place and they happen when at that particular moment you need to be a little bit more cognizant and aware of the fact that the friends and family that you have, the people who you truly care about, um, the siblings, the the you know your mother your father you know who whoever is in your life who is providing you with some some uh, maybe even just a sounding board or simply just allowing you to be you in the space with them and vice versa you know i know more about some of my friends than let's say in a, in a lot of ways i'm not going to say totally in a lot of ways that their significant others don't know like I know certain things that make some of my friends tick I have friends who are very outgoing very very you know very intelligent ask a lot of questions can have a great conversation and then I also have friends who are very much introverts who do not like crowds and would rather just sit relax have a beer smoke a cigar and just kinda hang out now you know your own circle of friends whether it's a family member a cousin um, you know how they tick and how they operate well with everything going on in the world please understand and do not fall into this trap of being distracted by what someone has either either it's in you or it's on you and when we say that like it that that little phrase in itself has so many deeper levels you know either it's in you either you have integrity either you are genuine and authentic or you're fake and fraudulent I hope and pray for everyone who's watching this and you know who your friend your real friends are you know who the, your family is I have some friends who I consider family. That's how close they are to me. As I'm pretty sure you do. Do not get distracted by the everyday nonsense. I don't care what you're wearing. I don't care what type of car you drive. I don't care about your rims. I don't care about your speakers. I don't care about any of that. I don't even care where you're living. As long as you, you, know, you have a roof over your head and you're being responsible and accountable to the people who you are responsible for. Understand that with everything going on in the world as of right now if nothing else the past two years has shown us is that you need to let these people know who you truly care for and who care for you hey I love you and I appreciate you for everything that you've been and everything that you are to me I got friends who we, I got friends who we don't even exchange words like this but I know that this person has my back and has the best intentions for me and they will never put me in a compromising position much less be distracted by the outside nonsense that means nothing to their lives or mine do not allow these things to continue on like I could care less that basketball season is coming to a head I could care less about the Super Bowl just being played how is my friend how is my cousin how how is my how are my little cousins who are grown and have children of their own now how are they mentally how are they spiritually where are they at who who is connected in their life that is providing them with another layer of inspiration and motivation to be better for themselves who is around them who is there for them and allows them to be themselves to be their authentic self 
Yes, you have everyday bills. Yes, you have everyday responsibilities. We all do. But do not compile them in the same grouping with the people that are there for you who are in your corner. Don't put them in the same category with distractions because that's exactly what it is. A lot of things that are going on as of right now, today, are meant and put in place to separate us and keep us from the relationships that truly matter. Whether it be your friendships, whether it be your your family members, whether it be just the loved ones and the people that you truly, truly care for. You know, we did a we did a quick little video on gas prices. It wasn't about gas prices. It was the fact that gas prices have become a distraction from the real things that are going on in the world. You know, I can I can give you so many examples of things that are simply distractions to keep you from the real problems that are going to affect the people that you care about and the people who have your back. We're not talking about the water shortages. We're not talking about the food shortages. We're not talking about these are real problems that could be easily affecting your family and your friends and their families. If you're having in-depth conversations about those type of things, that's one thing. That's not a distraction. It's like, okay, how do we handle this, this barrage of chaos if we got each other's back? That's why working together and coming together as a collective or a coalition, coming together to get things done matters. It matters more now than it did 10 years ago. Even though it mattered then, most people are so distracted by, I have to get mine, I can't worry about somebody else. There is a point to that. There is a limit to that. If I'm not in a position to provide or help out my my siblings, my sisters, for instance, or my brothers, what good am I if I'm not on my purpose? Not only to society, but to my family. Much less my friendships. If I'm compromised in any way, I'm compromising everyone who's around me, who loves me, who cares for me. I want you to take a deep look at the people that you allow around you and they bring either they either bring you this they bring you some motivation they bring you some upliftment they bring you something that keeps you on task on code to push yourself forward so that you can be the best version of you and and at the same time be who you are authentically be the genuine person that they fell in love with whether it's a friend, whether it's a relative, no matter what the relationship is. A lot of times we get distracted by so much nonsense that it means nothing. And then when those people fall off who who are supposed to be friends, understand addition by subtraction is a real thing. There are people that you do not hang with anymore that you hang you that you used to hang out with or run with, especially when you were, let's say, in your early twenties or when you were a teenager. You're very lucky and truly blessed in this way, in this sense. If you have friends from your childhood that you're still close with and you still connected with, and you can relate to, you both have grown in this space. And you're honest and authentic with each other. That's a friend for life. They provide you with some information. You provide them with a resource. The transaction is real. It doesn't have to be a transaction involving money or funds. Barter and trade is a real thing. Like any information that I get or I gather just on my own I give it to you guys I give it to not only the people who are paying clients but I give it to my friends and family 
in some way, shape, or form. I'm going to give you that information. Something that I've learned, something that or maybe I just need a, maybe I just need a sounding board at that time because I'm having a thought of something that I'm about to produce or I'm about to put together, package up, and see what it does. See if it's actually going to help the community. See if it's going to actually help my family. See if it's going to be beneficial for the whole, not myself. So uh, simply what I'm what this message is really about today is appreciate the people who are in your life who bring you something positive and something that provides you with a little bit of momentum to push the envelope to do better to be better let's be great together and moving as a collective yes it's a little slower but understand I'd rather be I can't be on top by myself I can I have it's lonely at the top. You, everyone's heard that expression. It's lonely at the top. Would you rather be there with your friends? Look, I don't know. Maybe on a massive vacation with your friends, their families, your family. Would you rather have something like that or just be going somewhere on your own and simply realizing that the, the best things in life are free? Sounds cliche, I know. Some people will get this message, some won't. Like, share, definitely subscribe to the channel. That's all I really got, my friends. Don't be distracted by the nonsense that's keeping you from your friends and your family. And the people that you deem worthy. Show them some appreciation and let them know. Hey, say thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be myself. Have a great one. Love you all. This is Big Red Leads. Peace.